Hi guys, welcome back. So today I am going to be beginning to prep my canna lily seeds to plant. Now, normally canna lilies, they're known for being big and massive and they look very tropical to me. And I grew some in a container a couple years ago and I loved it. And I actually saved my own seeds. So you can grow canna lilies from seeds and they also have rhizomes, which is very similar to um, a bulb. You can save the rhizomes from year to year or you can save the seeds and I ended up moving a thousand miles away from where I used to live and from where I had the canna lily so seeds were an easier bet for me. <laughs> now these seeds they are planted a lot like sweet peas so that requires soaking them for 12 to 24 hours before planting them. So I have a little container of water here and I'm gonna take out my seeds and I'm just gonna plop them in the water, let them soak for 24 hours. You can do 12, but I'm gonna let mine soak for 24 hours. And then I will come back tomorrow and finish planting them up. So the seeds look like these little black beads. And if you want to see how I harvested these, I will leave that video linked in the description box. So I'm going to, I have some seeds that are lighter in color. Um, so I'm not sure those might not have been ready completely. I don't know if you can see the varying color. Um, this one over here is much more darker than over here but I'm probably just gonna pot them all up and see what happens. So I'm kind of just picking out the better ones. I went a little crazy when I was saving them. You can see all the different colors. There's some really light colored ones and then the darker, the more mature the seed is. Um, It was really windy the day I was saving the seeds and I was trying to race against a storm that was coming in. So I literally just grabbed all the seeds I could find. I wasn't really too concerned with making sure they were mature and I threw them in this envelope. <laughs> oh, there's some more in there. Now I don't need a whole lot of these because like I said, they get pretty darn big and all that's left are the more lighter colored ones. So I don't think I'm even gonna do these. I don't wanna take up space. I only have one grow light right there. <laughs> I only have two shelves right now going, um, but stay tuned because I have a massive planting day coming in ab about a week. I have them soaking all right there and I'm just going to let them sit for 24 hours and I will see you tomorrow. Okay guys, it is the next day. Um, the room, my growing room where I normally plant everything in, the light somehow isn't working. I'm not sure why. I checked the light bulbs, checked the breaker box. For some reason, the light's just not turning on. So it's not bright enough in there to film. So I brought you to my kitchen and we're just gonna continue planting up the canna lily um, seeds that we soaked yesterday. I have some damp seed starting mix here and I'm just going to fill it into, I have a um, 40 cell tray and I only have 22 um, seeds. And normally I do two seeds per cell, but I think I'm just going to do one seed per cell because they're so big. So let's get started. Okay, I filled up 22 cells in my 40 cell seed tray. Um, I'm just gonna do one seed per cell and then um, later I will plant something else in over here. But I'm just gonna plop one seed in and then you want to bury them about a quarter inch down. So then I'll just top it with about another quarter inch of seed starting mix. Oh, 
Okay, that is it. I'm just going to water them in, put them under my grow lights and wait for them to germinate. I can't remember if I mentioned this earlier, but you want to start these seeds about eight to 10 weeks before your last frost. And now all we do is wait and watch them grow. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye.